All right, welcome back. Last time we made it here to the woven macaroni noodle floor tile dungeon. And uh, this time we're gonna uh, explore around Shmia and see what's in Shmia. Okay, already not liking the uh, the choice of enemies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is that is that all that's in here? There's probably more enemies than that. Oh man, anyway, um, oh by the way, you guys would be so proud of me. I only procrastinated for like 10 minutes or so before uh, hitting record. Aren't you proud of me? I don't know, that's like an accomplishment uh, for me anyway. Uh, oh, this is the uh, the brother. Okay, we actually did not uh, miss him apparently. All right, cool. Uh, why do you have my wing sword? Oh, Adik must have given it to you. I could put my strength behind my sword. I don't know, I'm pretty sure, but it looks like the door to Nakmar Castle cannot be opened without a key. I think Eric was saying that the old woman he rescued from this castle has the key. I haven't seen her though. Okay, so she's inside the castle. Is that what I'm to understand? Also, do I... Is the sword... Okay, the sword is now good somehow magically. I don't know why. Also, why did the uh, song change? It changed before, oh my gosh. It uh, changed before I uh, made a comment about like how hard the song was going. It actually was kind of weird how they actually like walk, like uh, what do you call it, onto the uh, onto the screen, into the frame. I was gonna say uh, like into the frame. It's like, well, like onto the screen. Don't the skeleton do that too? But there are a lot of enemies that just uh, like appear spontaneously. Oh great. So I'm pretty sure that I have to uh, dodge like longer. The uh, I don't think I got pigged by the uh, by the pallet swapped like the first pallet swapped version of this. But the guy whose let's play I was watching got pig got pigged by the uh, the pallet swapped version, and it seemed like he had to dodge more than five uh, bubble jams, bubble shots. So I was thinking that maybe this third pallet swapped one would make me dodge even more, but maybe not. That wasn't that many. But, uh, so yeah, uh, it did not take me 40 minutes to hit record this time, so yay, right? Oh wait, is this the entire castle? Oh man, 120, not bad. But uh, I had to stop watching, uh, Funky G's, uh, stream, let's play, whatever thing of this. Uh, because he had, uh, reached the castle. You know, I, it didn't even occur to me until I started watching it, or until I got, like, further in, I did not accommodate, or, like, is accommodate the right word? I did not take in consideration, um, him finding stuff that I missed. Apparently, I missed, like, a bunch of stuff in the, uh, in the red cave. Uh, there was, um, okay, so where do I need to go? Do I have to go back to the, uh, to the person that told me to wait? Or that, the person that said wait? And I wasn't sure which form of weight they meant. Or is the person inside the castle? Let's do the, uh, let's do the wall strat. Let's, uh, do a lap. Let's just be sure. Because, uh, at the other castle, I also missed, a, like, a bunch of paths. There was, like, there was, like, uh, I think there was, like, two places that, like, led, there was, like, places that led to places. And there was an entire extra, uh, like, floor to the dungeon. I'm not sure if it connected from the other floor of the dungeon. Dude. Well, I'm anticipating that, uh... Oh, by the way, I never used the heal ball. The heal ball is a full heal. I learned that from him using it, too. Oh my gosh, I can't use it when I'm pigged, though. So I actually have to dodge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is lasting way too long. Jeez. Except now I'm on the left side of the... Or the right side of the screen. Okay, shoo. So the uh, so the red cave had uh, had the spell that goes in the uh, the upper right corner. Uh, this one, it's like a book with one of those like leather straps that like holds the book shut. That one is renew, and it uh, it turns enemies. Yeah, see, this would be like the perfect place for that person to spawn after I talk to the uh, the eagle brother person. That room has to have some purpose, right? But then again, it's like, well, there, there have been plenty of dead ends. 
You gotta press up against the door. You never know when a door might just, like, open. Like, when you press against it. But, uh, that turns, uh, strong enemies into weak enemies. So that works, uh, well on, like, the Skeleton. I don't think he tried it on, on, uh, those guys. On these, uh, on the ghost, the ghost, uh, transformy guys. But it works on, like, the, uh, like, the big dragon lizard things. And the big, uh, two-headed, uh... Like, I don't know, like, what are they called? The big dudes, the one where the blue dude, the blue, like, version of it, like, startled the crap out of me. Because it, like, came towards me. Like, what are those guys called? I don't know. And also, uh, those, uh, faces that appear in the mountains... If you use, uh, like the, what is, what is it, thunder? If you use thunder, it kills them in one, uh, one hit. But it does cost 20 magic to use it, so it's kind of not worth it. Yeah, I don't think I went this way. Aha! So I checked the, uh, the perimeter. But I knew I did not check the, uh, like the inside. But, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, there was, uh, there was a sword that was str uh, slightly stronger. It was only, like, eight or nine uh, attacks stronger. But there was, like, there was, like, tons and tons of, uh, extra, like, area that I didn't, uh, that I, like, missed or whatever in that other castle. But, like, 99% of it was, like, empty rooms. That were, like, pointless. It just had that one sword. And then the cave had the, uh, what did it have? Oh, it had, uh, it had a shield. It had the shield that goes here. It's a metal shield. But I already have one that's, like, way better. Actually, not entirely sure if, if he missed this one also. I don't remember. Uh, so I missed the spell and, uh, I missed the renew spell and the shield in the red cave. And I missed the sword in the castle, but... At this point, it's like, you know, anything that I missed, I'm not going back for. Okay, am I even? Okay, so I can... I was about to say, am I even in the right place? But the fact that I'm fighting these, uh... Or coming across these enemies, these, like, blob dudes... Means that I am in the other area, since the other area didn't have them. Also, he was using the, uh, the demon sword... To, uh, to farm magic from the, uh, those, like, round... Those, like, round, weird-looking dudes. Oh, wait, I think I'm... Am I swinging this, like, a little bit faster? I think I'm swinging this, like, faster. I think there's three levels of, like, swing speed, I think. But uh, he was killing him, like, every time he comes across them. They're actually, like, they're slow-moving... And they're very easy to kill. And they do attack you, but it takes them a long time to attack you. So, like, they're easy to, like, pick off. So he was, like, uh... He was actually, uh... Like, using them to... You know, to, like, get experience, like, as he was going through the areas. Whereas I, uh, largely ignored them. Oh, man. Uh... But he, I was, I, you know, I was going to say it, but I didn't get to it in time. He also did not come across the eagle guy. So I wasn't paying 100% attention if maybe there was a place in that purple cave that he missed also. Like, I thought I was being, like, decently thorough. But he's got, like, a better sense of, uh, like, direction. And, uh, a better sense of, um, like, being able to, like, determine, like, where he's been and where he needs to go. Like, right now, for example, I kind of feel like I've been everywhere. This just loops around, right? Okay, so this is just a square. Like, I have to I have to think, like, really hard to try to, like, map the place out. Okay, so is this, is this just two squares? Okay, I think this is just two squares. See, there's, like, no point in this entire area. Okay, so I guess, uh, let's go back to the, uh, I guess I gotta go back to the, um, maybe, you know, maybe that, um, maybe that house on the left side of that other cave, or on the other side of, 
The left, the house on the left side of that other castle is what I meant to say. Maybe that will have something now. Since it's very, like, suspicious that that house was there. Like, that one screen of house, and then there's just, like, nothing else there. Like, it feels like that should serve, like, some purpose. And it hasn't served a purpose yet. So let's, uh, let's go check that out. Also, why did I... Somehow I switched off of, uh, the thing. Also, this is a better value to, uh, to heal with, I think, right? It depends on how low you are. Let's put this on for now, just in case I actually hit the wrong button. That way I won't burn a bunch of magic. You know, actually, I'm pretty sure that... That the heal ball is only 30, I think. So if that's the case, then uh, the heal ball is like a way better uh, value. <sighs> oh, what else? Oh, the magic cane um, uh, does have a purpose. It just shoots uh, like bubbles. And I never tried bombard, or uh, what do you call it? Yeah, bomb. Is it bombard? Do you pronounce the B? The second B in bomb? Is it bombard? Because in the word bomb, you don't pronounce the second B normally. But do you pronounce it when there's extra letters on the end? Actually, not entirely sure. Um, let's go ahead and try it now since I haven't used it. I'm pretty sure that he like uh, has forgotten to use it uh, as well. What does it do? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, it's like an earth spell, I guess. Boy, that was very strange. I don't think he ever tried the uh, the Tur Storm. He did use Thunder quite a bit, and he used Kane. For a little while before realizing it cost I think it costs 12 magic per shot. But it doesn't kill stuff in one shot. Uh, and what else? Yeah, I think that's uh that's it. He hasn't used the acorn at all either. And he just used uh thunder on those uh face dudes. So in terms of like uh magic that's like actually useful, he used the fire floor like a little bit, but I don't think any of the any of the other magic is actually useful except for the healing uh magic. Like, you're better off saving your magic for healing. But uh, anyway, let's go back and... Wait, am I one-shotting these guys? Oh, god damn it! The little bit of time that I spent trying to poke them for no reason. Oh, god dang it. You see that? I was like, it didn't... I didn't get picked uh, right away. I don't know, there is like some... If you hit some kind of weird input, you can sort of like walk backwards where the direction you're moving doesn't match the uh, direction you're facing. And I guess for some reason, like, the pig doesn't, like, take effect until that, like, stops. See, I'm going, like, backwards right there. Okay, so, uh, I gotta try those two places. Oh, you mother... So I gotta try those two places. Huh. I'm not sure which place I should try first. Actually, maybe uh, maybe I can warp to the castle. I should check that out. That would be nice. Oh, also, I have a fleet spell. I don't actually need to walk out of here. I don't think I've used the fleet spell for the entire uh, game. Like, I haven't gotten any, like, use out of it. But, like, now's the time to use it. Does the timer reset if you get hit? Jesus. Okay, well, let's heal so I don't die in one hit if I get pigged again. Okay, so you just uh, spin around, and uh, and then you're gone. Okay. Okay, Ocarina. I didn't see how much magic that cost, by the way. Let's at least see if we have another uh, place unlocked. I still think it's booty that it doesn't let you uh, cancel if you uh, hit the wrong button. If you accidentally uh, use the Ocarina. Oh, you can go to Nakmar. Was Tira Asleen over here? And then, uh, I thought there was, like, an empty space in the bottom left corner. Maybe not. Um. But, uh, okay, I guess we can go back. So this will just take a second. Okay, the door opened. Uh, what? You've met Eric! Uh, I've cautiously kept the key to knock my castle for him. Could you hand this over to Eric? Uh, why do I need to give it to him? I'm gonna be the one to use it. I'm the one gonna be doing like all that dirty work Okay, so it is nice that this place did serve a purpose. I could have easily uh, Gone like up the mountain just to have her not be there But anyway, we got the key so I guess uh, let's go back and let's open the uh, wait Which door am I even gonna open with the key? 
Maybe it opens all the doors. Weren't there multiple doors that uh, that I that I couldn't open by pressing up on them? Maybe they'll all open now. Okay, gotta find the uh, stupid door now. I do think it's kind of cool how the uh, the song like starts off like kind of quiet and then it like gets loud, and then even when it loops, it um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Like, it's not just, like, a looping song. Like, it has a beginning, and then the part that loops is, like, it doesn't loop the, uh, the quiet beginning part again. I don't know, I just think that that was a, a nice little, uh, nice little touch. Oh, man, but yeah, actually, uh, I know it sounds cheesy, but not procrastinating for a thousand years before hitting record is actually, like, kind of an accomplishment, actually. So it's one of those things where it's like I'm I'm like kind of proud of myself, but I like I really shouldn't be because it shouldn't be like a big deal to do that, you know. It's kind of like uh, I talked about this. Maybe I talked about this before. I don't know. Um, but uh, the guy that I work next to, him and uh, the person that they work next to, sometimes talk about uh like food choices and like their diets and stuff like they're like oh i had this and it only had this many uh like i was like i made a good choice and they're like you know encouraging each other and bragging about like something healthy they ate or whatever you know like they're trying to you know they're both like trying to like eat better you know and i don't know the other person like super duper well but like you know you work i work next to the other guy so i can i can be frank with him and i mentioned i was like I don't know. There, there's no way to say it without sounding like a dick. So that's why, like, you can't say it to, like, just anyone. Like, you have to almost preface it as well. So I was like, you know, obviously, I forget exactly word for word what I said. But I basically said, like, like on the one hand, like, yes, it is good to, uh, to make an effort to eat better. A lot of people want to eat better, but they don't actually, like, do it. And then a lot of people... Oh, wait, are we all the way back to the start? That's the start, I think. So, like, obviously, like, when you are moving in the right direction, there's nothing wrong with, like, wanting to be, like, proud of yourself. But I just informed him that the, uh, the ultimate goal, like, the end goal is to not be proud when you eat something healthy. Because it should be so normalized that you don't even feel proud when you do it. Because it should just be a thing that you do without even thinking about it. It's like when you put your shoes on the right feet, like you're not proud that you did it. It's like, well, it's just a thing that obviously you do, you know? So like, if you wanna make eating better part of your lifestyle, like if you wanna have a healthy diet be part of your lifestyle, then you would want to do it so much that it becomes normalized to where you don't think anything of it. So I, so I made sure to be like, yes, it is good that y'all are doing it. And yes, it's good to, to like be proud of it. But the end goal, like, that's not... The goal is not to eat a healthy meal. The goal is to eat so many healthy meals that it doesn't even register as, like, a thing to be, like, proud of anymore. Okay, this room is still empty. I'm pretty sure I was here, like, twice. I gotta find that other, uh... I gotta find that other stupid door. You know, when I was on the second floor... With those, uh... With those blob dudes... Wait, did I go this way? I did. When I went to the second floor with those blob dudes, were there doors on that floor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Wait, I thought I could go right from here. I remember it's like down in like the middle... Middle-ish area. Okay, there's the start. Maybe this uh, place is like four screens. Like up and down or whatever. Oh man, level up. So maybe I have to go down. And then left. Okay, so I was not one-shotting these enemies, by the way. Maybe I poked one of them twice, and then I killed the other guy. Then I turned around and hit the other guy once, and he died. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure I'm at the bottom. Okay, so it should be this one. Okay, shoot. I was I was ready for it to not be. I was like, in my brain, it should be. But I know myself well enough to know that uh, me thinking it should be does not 
ne necessarily mean that it will be. In fact, I was giving it a decently high chance that it would not be. Aha, door. Okay. Also, I forgot to uh, save before I cut back in. Oh man, is it getting darker? The color palette is getting like deeper purple. Or they're starting to be like more black on the uh, on the thing or whatever. Okay, let's check this first. Oh my god, Jesus, that startled me. Uh, okay, why? What was the point of that? That was very stupid. Am I back on the uh, first floor or the second floor? Okay, this is the third floor, I think, right? That didn't uh, damage me, did it? Let me uh, switch and see if I get some magic back. These guys, uh, you can farm magic from. Also, I forget if I mentioned it. But uh, I killed a bunch of those metallic bees that I thought were dropping the uh, health drops. I did not get any from them. Oh, let's switch the magic back, Jesus. So when I, when I saw my health going up, I might have healed and then killed one right after. And then saw my health going up and I thought it might have been from a collectible. Okay, well now I'm scared to go into any of these uh, stupid doors. Are they all going to be ball doors? What's the freaking point of that? Are they going to do the thing where one of the fall doors is actually not a fall door? I guess the good news is that if they all just take me back here, it's easy enough to just go to the bottom or the upper right corner to get back here. The uh, design of the second floor is actually pretty easy. Oh, uh, there could be... There could be a treasure or something in one of these. Because I feel like it's too obvious to just have the correct door be the door that has, like, people standing in front of it, you know? Okay, well, since I have a place where I can, uh, where I can farm magic, let's go ahead and do a full heal. Oh, man. Okay, so I wonder how many more doors there's gonna be. How many was that? That was, like, three so far? What the heck? Like, what's the point of that? They're just, like, desperately, like, trying to, like, pad the time out just a little bit more towards the end of the game. Oh, do the doors stay open that you opened already? That that would actually be nice. That's not... I feel like it's better to go around this way. Yeah, I did go this way, I think, right? Apparently, I did not. This door is still... I thought I went in there. All right, whatever. I did now. I guess if they're all going to take you to the second floor, then the design of the third floor can't uh, be too different from the design of the second floor if they're all going to drop you onto the second floor, you know? Okay, I think I did not go... Well, I think I went here the first time I went here. Okay. So this is the only way we... The only way we can go. All right. I'm Sorsha, daughter of the great uh, Queen Bev Morda. Okay, so I guess we're just reminding you... <laughs> You can no longer escape. Go to blazes with this man. Okay, so, uh... Willow threw the powder of unrequited love at Sorsha. But Sorsha dodged it and the powder got on Mad Mardigan. Sorsha, my dearest Sorsha, I love you. You are my moon and my sun and my clear blue sky. Without you, I am in darkness. Sorsha, you are being fooled. Your eyes are overflowing with justice and hope. Sorsha, I do not believe the prophecy. There is uh, no chosen hero. There's a hero. Every living creature in the world is it. All of us in the Daikini clan, the Newling clan, the Eagle clan with the wings and the rabbit-like nail clan are it. Okay, dude, shut up. All are living to their fullest and the effort put forth into living is... Oh, the greatest strength in this world. Sorcery, your strength is necessary now. Let's give our strength to Willow. Mad Mardigan. Thank you, Mad Mardigan. I feel like I've awakened Willow. The crest of the spirit should be in a treasure ch What? What? To be in a treasure chest in the cave below this castle? What? Okay, so Sorcia is the queen of, or the daughter of Queen Bavmorda. 
So the guy professing his love to her made her change her mind and decide to be good and help us? That is the stupidest thing, like, ever. Okay, cave below the castle, but we're still going upwards, so I wonder if we're gonna get stopped. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh, youngster, it's too late. I've already given the crest of the spirits to Bav Morda. Ha ha ha. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this is like, oh my god, dude. Wow, look, what a big sword swing. Jesus. Hopefully this is like winnable. Oh my god. Wow, dude. F you, dog. Okay, well, I'm taking the, uh, dude, I lost 10,000 experience. Oh, and it unequipped all my stuff. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm I'm taking that. Uh... Oh man, it knocked me down a level. I was at level 13, I think, right? Because I was at 40,000 experience. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, did I get did I get something that would indicate like progress? I was gonna say maybe I don't have the powder anymore, but it's like well you you like always have it even if you use it Okay, so I still have the key to Nakmar. So if I reload the save state I'll have to go back and get that Okay, so was I Like what I was going to say is that was I supposed to go back and get the thing so that I could defeat that guy Was that guy unbeatable without uh, that item? So, I'm not entirely sure, but the question now is, do I have to go back and, uh, and have him, like, say that again? Okay, so it said cave beneath the castle. Was there a cave that I couldn't, uh, go to before? I remember at one point being like, oh, well, I have a thing where I can go if I ever, uh have a place where I can't remember where to, uh, or where I don't know where to go. I have, like, an option now. But I might have already, like, gotten past that point. Man, I can't believe I lost that much experience. Yeah, these guys take four hits now to kill. That's so sad. Okay, well, let me go back to the top and check. Because I might have to, um, like, I don't know, like, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's like NES logic. It's possible that I might have to go back to, like, get that message again. It did say castle, or cave beneath the castle. Wait, was it this way? No, it was not. God damn it. Oh, wait, I even knew that. It's the upper right corner. Like, I knew that I couldn't go up or right. But I was supposed to go up from where I started, dirt. Oh great, now I'm at the top again, I think. Uh whatever, let's just meet back when I uh when I find when I find like the next thing to do. Actually, you know what? What if it means here? Oh god dang it. I know it's not beneath the, the uh castle, but it's like, well it is a door. This could be underneath. And there also was that, uh, that, like, one room place where it was just a dead end. It was just a single room. I gotta check that, too, since I'm here. I feel like that's worth, uh, checking out. Was it here? Oh, god dang it, it's not here either. Well, I still have to go to the top to just to make sure that I don't have to get the message again saying to go there. Because that, uh, part of my progress might not have, uh, like, carried over when I, uh, when I got kicked back out of the castle when I died. Okay, I climbed down the um, the turquoise mountain or whatever, and it took me right here. So is this uh, is this the cave he was talking about? I went right from the castle and just walked down. That way I would like, that way I'd be able to like see the. Uh... Oh wait, there was. Oh wait, no, because I came out of uh, this cave. I think right. I was about to say, wasn't there a cave where it was just like a loop with the treasure chest? But we already uh, did that. I think right. Okay, so maybe it's, uh, maybe it's here. This is literally the, uh, the cave. You know, I don't remember seeing the big giant dudes 
in uh in the cave. Was I able to I don't remember this. Maybe this is new. I did not remember like the larger enemies in this cave. So maybe maybe it is here. There's still nothing there, alright. But uh, I decided to walk down manually. That way I wouldn't uh, have to worry about like possibly like missing it. That way I could like confirm that I was checking the uh, the cave that was beneath the castle and like this is literally it. Not only that, it was a straight path from the castle down to uh, down to here. So if this is not so if this is not the castle it's talking about, then the game is lying. I don't know, man. Was I not? I had to have been. I had to have been here already. I just don't remember going through like multiple vertical screens with the uh, with the large enemies. But maybe I just got lucky with the RNG. Maybe I just didn't get attacked in any of them. Uh, okay. Nothing in the treasure chest. Okay, well, I can now confirm that I have been here. Oh man, yeah, I have no idea what was in that chest, but I have uh, have been here. Okay. Also, this cave is, is uh, has been a straight shot so far. Come on, man! I really like want it to be like here. Uh, when I was watching uh, Funky G's Let's Play, I think he had like one video left that was like 55 minutes. So I don't know if he was just dying a bunch. Actually, um, he was using save states more than me. So we might actually have like more places to go. Cause he was at the castle with 55 more minutes to go. And the credits are probably short. Okay, so this is just leading out. This is the loop. And then this screen over here on the right, this is where the treasure chest was blocking me right here. So the fact that it took him 55 minutes, credits are probably, you know, just a minute or two. Might mean that we might have, like, more places to go to. Or maybe the castle is, like, huge. Or maybe when we defeat that skull guy, he might not be the final boss. There might be more castle. But, uh, yeah, I got my hopes up. I thought it was going to be there, so that's why I cut back in. But it's not there, so it's just, uh, let's just meet back when I, uh, when I find it. Okay, it's funny. She's like, Eric will save the world. I'm like, then why did you give me the key, dude? Okay, I'm here back at the castle. Uh, I went ahead and looked up Funky G's, uh, like, uh, Let's Play stream thing. Just so I could... Well, I just wanted to read the message. Because dude was talking so much that um, that I thought that maybe I overlooked uh, something. Maybe I didn't read the, uh, the message right where it told me where to go. Um, but then afterwards, he went up here and tried to fight this guy... And he did die, but he almost killed him. Oh, wait, we got one more floor. I forgot. He did die, but he almost killed him. So I think that maybe this guy is killable. Oh, man, I got to read this again. No. Oh, yeah, so I got my floors, like, mixed up. So so earlier when I was like, okay, they're still gone. It saved the progress of them being gone still. But uh, that must have been the wrong floor. We had one, uh, like, I was only on the... The uh, second floor, not the third. Oh, man. Okay, so, like, why are they at the top of this castle? Or why are they on the third floor of this castle? I guess he can go up higher. And why does this guy talk so much? But, uh, like I said, I went ahead and looked it up because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, like... I was like, before I go out and explore the entire world... Like, it could, like, be anywhere. Well, at first, I was like, well, there's two castles, so maybe it, like, did it say the other castle? Like, what if it meant the other castle, not this castle? So I was like, let me go back and check the message again. But, uh, you cannot go to the side. This guy, like, this guy, like, hits you, like, instantly if you try to, if you try to, uh, go to the side of him or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how he did it. Why well, he can only take a few hits. Dang. Okay, well, I'll make my save state. I'll redo my save state uh, 
like up a little bit more. Boy, knock me all the way back down. But uh, he did the thing where I, uh, he was getting hit, but he like, he did the thing like you do in Legacy of the Wizard, where you can kill the boss like really quick, but then they can also kill you like really quick. But if you get on them a certain way, you can take away like all their health like super quick. But like I said, they can also kill you quickly, so you just gotta like get lucky, I guess, and kill them before they kill you. He only, he, like I'm pretty sure that he, that he was gonna die in like one more hit. So he did like, I'm pretty sure that uh, he was like one hit, or like, you know, like his character was one hit from dying, and then he did like almost all the boss's health before he got hit again. And then he finally got hit when the boss was like one hit from dying. So I don't know, like I'm assuming the fight's supposed to be winnable. I mean, since we're getting close to the end, it makes sense that the fight would be like hard. But then also, because it's like close to the, to the end of the game, it also stands to reason that it might, uh, it might be a thing where, uh, where the game might make it where you could potentially enter a boss room where you cannot kill the boss. That's normally like not very good game design, but like some games do do it. And because it's the end of the game, and because they gave you instructions to leave, so it's like your punishment for not listening is that you have to like be killed now. Hmm, okay. Maybe I should make the save state like even more closer. We'll go here. This should be good. Just so I can like farm attempts. He might have been going at him from like kind of the side. Yeah, like this. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Oh, he just dashes at you, but you can poke him to stop him from hitting you. So it's actually super easy sauce. Okay. So like I said, I just wanted to check to make sure that I wasn't supposed to like actually defeat this guy before going back out and checking the whole world. I mean, I feel like I did my due diligence checking under the cave, or in the cave, like, under the castle. Like, I literally did what it said. So it's like, if it's literally not where it said, then let me check, since now I'm not sure. So I feel like that was, uh... I feel like that was, uh, like, an okay place to, like, look something up. And then plus, because I didn't know if this guy was killable, I figured, uh, just to save on walking, and so I wouldn't lose all that experience. I feel like that was okay. That was an okay place to use a save state also. I've been, like, pretty good about, like, not, like, um, abusing, like, the save states. Like, for the most part, I've only been, um, using the save states at, like, uh, at, like, new episodes and, uh, heal spots. So, like, to use it, like, right there, like, it's not a big deal. It just makes me, like, kind of feel weird because I haven't been doing it for the whole game. So it feels like I'm, like, moving the goalpost or whatever, but it's, like, it's not, it's not that, it's not a big deal. I just gotta get over it. Okay, so, like, the object permanence of, like, this delight, like, does not make sense at all. Okay, so we went from one tower to another, and now we're just going to, like, the other one again? I wonder if it's supposed to represent, like, we're going in, like, a square. But they were all just, like, facing the same way? But it could be, like, oh man, another one? Yeah, the object permanence of this is, like, all, like, messed up now. I guess they could have just had it be, like, up and down if they wanted you to go up and down. I was gonna say, maybe you're going in, like, um, like a square of these, where some are going left and right and some are going up and down. It's like, well, it would have been easy enough for them to just have some up and down ones. Oh man, this has to be the final boss. There's, like, no way in or out of this room. And also, this is, like, Bad Morta. Uh, I didn't think you would make it so far, but this is as far as you go. As soon as I seal the spirit's crest, I will never have to be afraid of higher powers or men. I will be immortal. Ha ha ha. Okay. Okay, probably have to use the double eye. Regular sword does not work. Uh, devil sword does not work. Regular sword does not work. Uh, balls. Cane? I 
I can use the cane, but it doesn't do anything. The cane is the only thing I can use. I cannot use the, uh... Well, let me check to see. Maybe you just can't use heal magic, but maybe you can use attack magic still. No, I can't use the acorn either. I did overlook a message that I saw when I was re-watching, or when I was watching uh, Funky G's Let's Play. It said that when the, when the potential of the cane is unlocked, that it will be like the ultimate thing or whatever. Oops. Okay, so I guess using the cane... Maybe is like the key to this fight. Oh, God dang it. Nope. I gotta fight this guy again. No. Maybe I have to go back out. I was thinking about this, but I just didn't backtrack far enough. Maybe now I have to... Um, well, I was gonna say, maybe now that I'm level 13, maybe I have to go back and uh, change that one guy back to his normal form. Maybe he'll like do something to, uh, to let me win. Also, if we're at the very end of the game, how can we still have three magics? I know I missed this one, but I guess I still missed three magics. And I missed a sword, but then that's still four swords that I missed. And I missed a shield, but we still have four shields that I missed. Possibly five. Wait, well, I guess there would be a shield here. But I'm pretty sure that me and Funky G both missed this uh, one, I think. I think? Not entirely sure. Uh... But then again, it's like maybe they just maybe they just made the menu always this big, but it's not going to be always filled. I was going to say maybe they gave you this many items and just kept the uh, thing the same size. But you see how it goes like it's this big, but on the shield one, see how it's not as big? So if there aren't as many shields, they could have just made it like smaller. The fact that there's so many empty spaces makes it seem like there'd be shields to like fill it. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll walk back. Uh, I'll defeat this guy again, walk back. We'll try a bunch of cane shots. If all the cane, like, I'll burn all my magic. If, uh, cane magic doesn't work, then I'll go all the way back. And, um, and see if I can turn that guy back. That's a long way back. I guess I can warp. You know, I was gonna say that, uh, it's kind of, like, pointless to, uh, to be able to, like, warp back to, like, all the previous locations. The only place you would ever need to... To, uh, to go back to is the previous heal spot. But I guess uh, this would give a purpose to uh, being able to um, to go back because I would need to go like like all the way back to where uh, to where the uh, to where the guy is where you trans where you like need to transform him back. And they did specifically say you don't have enough experience, but that could be that could just be like NES like cryptic weird translation thing where it makes it seem like it's saying one thing, but it's actually not. Like, the cave under the castle. It literally said cave under the castle, but then that, like, wasn't it. Um, so sometimes, like, there's, like, weirdness with the with the objectives. So it's either too cryptic or it's, like, mi like misinterpreted or it's translated in a way where it's misinterpreted. Um, but if the cane thing doesn't work, I'll gain a level. I don't think I tried at level 12, but I'll go ahead and gain another level anyway since I'm already, like, halfway there. And uh, these enemies are giving, like, some of the enemies are giving over 100 each and they're easy to uh, kill. So I'll go ahead and get to level 13, and then I'll go back and see if I can transform that guy and see if he'll give me something that will let me uh, win this uh, this bad Morta fight. So we shall be right back. Okay, I forgot that you gain a level from all the experience after you kill this guy anyway, so it's actually nice. I won't have to grind. I wonder if 14 is the highest level you can get to, since there's not any more room. Like your health uh, bar... On the boss screens will be uh, like maxed out. Maybe it goes to 15. I don't know. Oh man, how much more do I need now? Now I need 11 more thousand. I don't know. I'll try it at 13. And maybe huh, I'll be sad if I have to get to 14. But I guess if I have to do it, I have to do it. We'll try it at 13 and see if it works at 13. Okay, let's try this again. I've been recording for over an hour, so... But, like, I'm not sure how much of this is, uh... was, like, left in. I might only ha I might still only be at one episode's worth of footage. Uh, 
Uh, oh, it's kind of funny. She can actually go into, like, the menu window thing. Okay, well, uh... That did not work. Maybe you have to just be a high enough level to have enough MP to hit her with it enough times. But uh, since I can warp, I feel like it's not that big of a deal to warp. At this point, I've gone so deep into the castle that it, that it is going to be a pain to have to walk all the way back. But I feel like, um... But I wonder if they're, like, going to test the player for, like... I don't know, like, you assume that, like, for the end of the game, they're going to have, like, one, like, final harder challenge for the, uh, player. So maybe they're going to, um, like, test the player to see if they remember to, uh, transform the guy back. And the other, the other, I forget who said it, but someone did say that when you unlock the potential of the cane, that it will be, like, super mega, like, powerful. Um, so let's, uh, let's, uh, see if we can transform that dude back. <laughs> 